Delgado, now a seven-figure online earner. Alfredo started out, no credit, no money, no car, taking care of his family. And now his mission is to inspire others to become financially independent. Alfredo. And of course, you've gotten to hear him twice on the Rise Call on Wednesday nights. Here's your panel and our founder, Michael Forrest. Michael, take it away. Thank you. Round of applause for John. Doing a great job. Thanks, John. We're going to have a little fun. We know this is one of our favorite segments to do because it's a panel. It's all the people who are getting results. Many of you are probably on their team. So we wanted to give you a chance to ask some questions, you know, get a little Q&A going, you know, pick their brains, all that stuff. So we're going to go along and ask each one of you to ask them a question. So we'll be here for about the next 14 hours. That's OK. All right? Is that good with you guys? No? OK. So we'll do something a little funner, a little different. We're going to uh, use these big uh, colorful balls here, and we're going to try to knock you guys over. Um, they have questions on them. They have uh, each one of these guys knows their questions, so you don't know which guy has which questions. So we're going to throw this ball out in the audience, and whoever grabs it and wants to ask, ask one of these questions, then we're going to uh, let you do that, and uh, they're going to answer it for you. So. It'll be fun, different way of doing things. We got two balls, we'll start with this one, and who's ready? is what are the three biggest mistakes people make on Facebook? Ah, who's that? Ooh. There he is. You got him? That's you, buddy. All right, I guess I'm going first. All right, so I got my notes because we don't have the fancy slides. The three biggest mistakes people make on Facebook. Biggest one, biggest one, right? You ready for this? You guys hear me? Yeah, all right, okay. Did you make these cookies? The biggest mistake people make on Facebook is keeping their business a secret. All right, that's the biggest mistake. People, you know, my team, people come to me all the time, I'm not having results, I'm not getting leads. I go on their Facebook and I say, well, I can tell you why. You're posting about makeup, you're posting about, you know, your dogs, like that. Have you told anybody about your business? All right, which leads me into the second mistake. What about my friends and family? What are they gonna think? Sorry, who the hell cares what they think? <laughs> Their opinion was, why don't you get a job? What are you doing with that internet stuff, those scams and things? I said, well, if I end up getting a job, I'm going to end up living like you. And that's not what I want. No offense. No offense. You know, so that's the biggest mistake. They're too worried about what friends and family think. Don't worry about what they think. It's about you, your business, your kids, your family, and your why. That's the biggest reason. It's not theirs, it's yours. All right? And the last thing, um, hold on, I got to do my notes here. All right? Another thing is, you guys don't tell your story. Everybody has a story. We've heard it multiple times on stage already. Everybody has a story. Share your story. It's good when you make money, and it's great. But let me tell you something. It's also the greater thing is knowing who you were before you made the money. So I like to show people, you know, the Ferrari and the nice house and the big pool because those are all achievements that I got now. But let me tell you who I was before I came to this point. Does that make sense? Tell people your story. Let them know who you are. Everybody has a story. If you're human and you're breathing, you have a story, okay? If you're kids, what's your reason? You want to quit your job. Everybody wants to quit their job. If you don't, something's wrong, all right? <laughs> Sorry, if you don't want to quit your job, something's wrong. If you don't want to give your kids a better life, something is not right. Check yourself out. So, you know, tell people your story on Facebook. Don't tell them your problems, because like you said, you're just going to bring people with more problems. It's like a big woe is me, like, you feel like that's all, let's come, let's hug together, let's be miserable together. No. <laughs> you guys want to share your story, and don't only share your success, but share other success and how you guys got there, who you were before, all right? And if I got time, I'll do one more real quick. All right, and the last one, I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, not building enough relationships. 
relationships. The most money I made online was from the relationships I built on Facebook, on social media. All right, get to know people. We're not just emails. You guys are not just email addresses. You all are people with kids, people with problems. You know, so get to know those people because you never know who your next rock star is. It could be that same email address that just opted in an hour ago. That guy could be ready to take off. All right, so those are the three biggest mistakes. I hope you guys enjoy the value. Your name written all over it. All right, but now I hear a gear from Hawaii. Aloha. All right, should we be promoting our business on personal or a fan page, and what's the difference? All right. Good question. Who came up with that one? Since everybody told their story, I'll tell mine really, really quick. First of all, I'm going to put this away real quick. Who here has kids? Who ever heard of the Brady Bunch? You guys ever heard of the Latin Brady Bunch? <laughs> that's us. That's us right here. So if you guys don't know me, I have actually, me and my wife, we have six kids. Six. Right? One, only one doesn't live with us. We have five that live with us, plus two dogs, fish, cats, all kinds of animals in the house. But anyway, the reason why I say that is because, you know, I'm born and raised in New York. Um, the most I ever made in a year, my corporate job, was a whole whopping $20,000. I was amazed. I was like, wow, I can't do shit with this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you know, but when you have all those kids and responsibilities, and the sad part is, um, when they all want to go to McDonald's and you have to pick and choose which ones can eat and which ones can't because you can't afford it, that really tries, starts to get to you and say, this ain't it, this ain't it. You know, I had to look for something different. I had to find a way to never tell my kids no. You know, so that's, that's my biggest why. That's our biggest why. That's why we do what we do. We're still young, and I happen to retire my wife. She's home, so she's not having to work anymore. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh, you know mothers this credit. You know, she stays home and has a second job at home, which is helping us with the kids, cooking, cleaning, taking care of the dogs, and all that stuff, and cleaning my mess and stuff like that. So give a round of applause to my wife. So. So that's, that's our story in a nutshell. That's, you know, we come from New York. We moved to Pennsylvania to give our kids a better life. And thanks to this business, I have to tell you guys, online marketing is the best business in the world. You know why? The number one reason why? Because not only you can have financial freedom, but you have freedom, period. You can live wherever you want, wherever you want. As long as you have a laptop and internet, you can make money and run your business. So that's the best thing. So, you know, it's either we stay stuck in New York, make a little bit more money, and have and forced to have our kids go to a school that they didn't want to go because it was a bad school, or we could take them wherever we want and focus on their education and give them the best life you know we could possibly give them. So that's what we did. We basically everything was revolved around them, giving them an uh, opportunity to go to the best school. So we happened to put them in the best school in the whole the best district in the whole state of you know Pennsylvania, and we have a nice house and you know that's the reason why we do what we do. So to get back into Facebook now, let me go back into my notes real quick. Just give me a second. We're not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but you got to take imperfect action. All right, guys? Yeah, she does all the work and everything. I, I, I covered that already. I don't need notes for that one. I just need the look. You know? That's, that's enough. I started going, okay, I got it. I got it. So, um, you know, personal and business Facebook. Anybody here built a fan page already? All right, now for those who haven't, why not? It's very simple, you just go to business.facebook, create a fan page, right? And the easiest thing you can do is create a fan page on yourself, all right? So the bottom line is um, with a fan page, with a business fan page, you can target your audience and you have unlimited reach. With personal Facebook, you are limited to what they allow people to see. Does that make sense? When you post stuff on your personal wall, Facebook has an algorithm that only lets about 5% of the people see it. But when you have a fan page, not only can you target age, demographic, uh, income level, if they're married, what they like to eat, you could target all of that. But you can do it as much as you want. I have a video right now that I've been running for almost two months. How many of you guys seen that video with me with the check in the car? Yeah, and so did a million other people. 
All right, one video that I took with my phone, you guys heard it before, this is the best internet marketing tool right here is your phone. I simply, and it wasn't even my phone, I took my kid's phone, that's how sad it was. I said, my battery is dead, can I borrow your phone, son? And he said, sure, we could do another video. I said, yep. So I went to the garage, I did a video, next thing you know, I got a million views. And uh, a whole heck of a lot of signups and digital altitude. So um, that's the power of a fan page, because you can do that. You can't do that with a personal. You can't control your audience with a personal. But I'm gonna give you guys a secret. You guys want a secret? I'm not gonna do that big copywriting stuff either. You, you did it. You did it too good. You got me sold. I was ready to buy his stuff. But um, I was like, yeah, I want that financial thing. What do you got? But um, the biggest, you know, secret is that you can use both. You can use both because I have 5,000 friends and about 15,000 followers on my personal. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore them. And those, those are people. Those are leads. Those are friends. Those are people who obviously like something about me, which is cool. So I'm going to show them what something that could change their lives. So what I do is I take my best content that has to do with business on my fan page, and guess what I do? Exactly, share it on your personal wall. So back to the other question, for those who don't care, your family, your friends, oh, there goes our cousin with that scam again. Hey, listen, it's fine. I have thousands of other people that are interested in what I have. So you take your best engaging content from your fan page at least once or twice a day and share it to your personal wall. So the people that at least are interested in what you have to offer, they're gonna go over to your fan page. And guess what, they're gonna like your page, they're gonna check out your content, and that's how you can separate your personal from your business. But you can still promote your business on your personal. Make sense? Yeah. Cool, so everybody, I have a challenge for you guys. The hardest thing in the world, go build a fan page and name it yourself. So whoever you are, if you're a John Doe personal, just name it John Doe on your fan page and label yourself professional you're an entrepreneur because we're all entrepreneurs that's why we're here right yeah. all right entrepreneur success business person whatever you want to call yourself is fine just don't call yourself you know don't put I work at McDonald's please don't do that <laughs> please that's the past all right even if you're still working there that's gonna be the past don't put I can't people they they want to do this business they want to make six figures and they put I work at Fabco like come on dude you're killing me stop please just take it off so you call yourself a public figure entrepreneur, whatever you want to label yourself, and, or success coach, and then you start building that fan page. And you'll be surprised at what reach, you know, how many people you can reach a day with that. So I hope that helped. If you guys ever have any questions about Facebook, feel free to add me, try to add me or message me on Facebook. I'll be more than happy to help you guys.